Prince Harry's lonely departure from Scotland has shown significant tensions remain between the Duke of Sussex and his royal relatives. The Duke of Sussex departed alone from Balmoral Castle on Friday morning, having rushed to Scotland the previous day after Buckingham Palace issued a statement regarding the Queen's health. Close members of the royal family flocked to the Scottish residence, with many of the close working members travelling together. An official statement came from the palace on Thursday evening, confirming that Queen Elizabeth II had died aged 96. Despite the sombre occasion, Prince Harry promptly left Balmoral on his own, seemingly only accompanied by members of his security team, indicating a clear rift between the Duke and his royal family, according to royal correspondent Cameron Walker. Speaking outside the Royal Scottish Residence, the GB News royal reporter said, The gates opened here at Balmoral Castle and two Black Range Rovers appeared and sped off very hastily. Dot in the front car was Prince Harry, we didn't quite see who was in the back car but we are assuming it was his security staff. He left alone is the point here and he also traveled separately yesterday up to Balmoral Castle. He was not with other members of the royal family but Prince William, Prince Andrew, and the Earl and Countess of Wessex we understand traveled together. This shows still, even with the death of Her Majesty the Queen, there is still a clear distance between the Duke of Sussex and the rest of the royal family. Prince Harry arrived at Balmoral Castle at around 8 p.m. on Thursday evening, well over an hour after the death of his grandmother had been reported. He was the last of the close royal family members to arrive in Scotland as royal figures raced from across the UK to the Queen's bedside. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had initially declared the couple would travel to the Queen together, although the statement was swiftly corrected to announce the Duke of Sussex would be making the journey alone. The Duke of Sussex was captured leaving Balmoral early on Friday morning, just over 12 hours after he had arrived, reportedly heading to London. The Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, did not accompany her husband to Scotland but also missed a scheduled appearance at the Well Child Awards. The Duchess of Cambridge also remained in Windsor with the couple's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been staying in the UK for a series of charity engagements, marking their first public appearances in the country since the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June. It is not yet known when the couple plan to return to their home in California although, given the circumstances, it is foreseeable that their stay could be extended for the period of mourning. The complex relationship between Prince Harry and his royal relatives has been well documented through a series of media interviews given by the Duke of Sussex. Speaking to Oprah Winfrey in 2021, Prince Harry praised the efforts of the Queen during his step back from royal duties. He said, My grandmother has been amazing throughout. However, he also reported he felt let down by other members of the royal family, indicating a particularly strained relationship with his father, Prince Charles at the time, now King Charles III. Prince Harry described himself and Prince William as on different paths, later adding, the relationship is space at the moment, 